but uh, this post got uh, uh, you have one who dated here May 20th. Uh, this post right here indeed got a lot of feedback. Uh, so this is the post. Um, you said words can be bullets or seeds. Okay, right. that's the best. When I when I saw that, and then I, I got feedback on it from a few people uh, that I talked to, um, they really enjoyed it as well. Now, you had already, we had already attempted for you to be on the show before you made this posting. Um, yes. And they were like, you got to have her back on. I said, okay, she's coming. I'm just, I just wanted to know what you thought about that. Um, yeah. Men and women alike that saw this post, and I asked them to give me a review of your post, uh, mm -hmm. felt that it applied to either sex, men or women. But yes. in the in the post though, you're you're talking to women. Yes. So that that's why I found the post really cool because guys are telling me some of my uh, followers uh, were telling me that hey guys the same way it applies to guys too. But yeah. why don't you go ahead and address this post? Words can be bullets or seeds. Uh, is the post that you had for May twentieth. Tell me a little bit more about that and everybody else. Yeah, of course. So the reason I put, and I have a video explaining the reason why I put the post, but we have, they, we communicate in so many ways, body language, but our main source of communication is words. It's what we're saying to each other. It's what we're saying to our children. Mm. The reason that I went on to talk about the words that women say to men in relationships is because they can literally be seeds or bullets to to the person hearing them and i obviously in this age of of uh, social media you see a lot of women coming on and going if you're a real man you will do this and mm -hmm. men are trash and uh, you, men are made for the streets and for me i'm like well what you're saying those words carry energy with them they are they can literally be used to inspire somebody to grow i.e they can be a seed and actually it's two-sided it can be a good seed or a bad seed but it can be a seed or it can be words that can basically harm a person mentally so it we have to choose our words wisely. And I'm always telling my clients that choose to respond instead of reacting. Why are you reacting to what you're saying to, to what you're going or Why are you reacting and saying words that could obviously hurt the other person? What's the intention? What's the intention for the words that you're saying? Most of the time, um, people often think of, of the things men can say. So I'll do this side of it. And some of the things the guys told me when they they saw it, um, mm -hmm. they thought of times that their dad or somebody else said something to them as the, when they were a child. Um, but they also talked about things that men can say in a relationship, uh, though we can sometimes be few of words. Um, what what some of them mentioned was the tone in which men say things sometimes can be just right. as painful. Uh, yeah. They can say something in a quiet tone. Can, it can still be mean words, but okay, a yeah. lot of the men, a lot of the men talked about, you know, uh, getting loud and being angry, uh, yes. being angry and being loud. The two together It's one thing to be upset or angry, but to get self-control and try to explain yourself to the woman that means something to you. But they also talked about the screaming and yelling that a man can do that can send fear into a child or uh, to his children. Or, or to the woman that he's with. I just wanted to share that with you, some of the things that the guy said. But you make a very yeah. valid point, though, that a lot of women can also uh, say things uh, in a way that can be painful. But I like the analogy of the seeds. Uh, but go ahead. You were going to say something, please. Go ahead. I was going to say, do you know what? Yeah, it, I totally agree. It can, both, it can go both ways. It can go from the man telling a woman what he thinks or the words that he shouldn't be saying, I am, it's, um, I love the feminism movement. Don't get me wrong. I'm a strong feminist. I love women moving forward. I just want to give a voice to men as well because men need to do inner work just as women do inner work. 
yeah. everybody needs to do inner work. So as a woman, your words can literally inspire the man or they can <laughs> discourage the man. Yeah, and as a guy, I could I could agree with you. <laughs> I could tell you that real quick. Um yeah. it's a, it's amazing how a man's emotions are. I'm just going to throw this in and then we're going to you you go ahead take over and keep keep mentioning some other points that you have. Uh I'm sure. looking at all this love that's going across the screen for you. Uh by the way, uh, I, if you can catch any of it. But um what I was going to mention is that uh um how can I put it? You bring up a subject that a lot of people will dance around or avoid. Right. If you know what I mean when it comes to women and what they say. Uh mm-hmm. so therefore, you know, for me, I this I've never been chasing uh followers or likes. That's not why uh, my daughters and myself got this this channel and other channels, yeah. public channels started. So, mm-hmm. uh I understand that people will drop off if they don't like what they hear. They have a right to do that. But at no the same time, you make a very valid point. in order for it to be a productive and healthy relationship uh, the way we communicate either it's something we learned from our parents or whoever we spent time with or the entertainment we choose or we can choose to have better seeds that we plant in other people with our words so when it comes to women do you find a pushback when you make postings like this Cuz this is not your only one that you have like this. You have a few more. I don't think we have all day to go over them because some of them are really good. I've got some good feedback when I when I had people to, to review some of your stuff. Uh Yeah. They said like, "Hey, she's going to lose a bunch of followers with <laughs> you're going to get a lot of women mad at her talking <laughs> talking I, I like that." Mind. Do you get that? I don't mind. I yeah. And for me, even you'll find me actually sometimes when you know like those posts that go viral, like there was one post that um I saw the other day that went viral which was a man and a woman in a relationship whereby the man wasn't being intimate with a woman in the relationship. Uh-huh. And the comments in there was he must be gay. Oh. He he's he's seeing somebody else. He is you know all that stuff and i kept going i i was like proper oh my <laughs> and i was you're doing trying, you're trying to you keep know. up with every comment and, and coming back is that what you yeah yeah because i was saying uh, sometimes women it's it's amazing and beautiful that women we are inspiring each other we're talking about self love we're talking about going from a patriot patriotic society to a matriarchal society and we're goddesses and we're beautiful and all that stuff but men are not meant to 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 parent us in a way right especially okay. our, our our partners you're in a partnership not in a mother child or father child relationship yeah. you're in a partnership as a, a re, in a relationship you're in a po- proper partnership which means that communication is important so what you say as a woman could literally like i said it could cut the man's yeah. um or by his knees or it could uplift yeah. him and inspire him to do more and i don't know about you you tell me how you respond to criticism versus how you respond to praise Yeah, men, so men men overall um as the father of two daughters having three sisters and and spent a number of time um watching the way they interact with men and as I explained to my daughters men a man's emotions are very very deep. Now now I can't get a guy to come on the show with me and talk about this. I may have one that will volunteer to do it. but most of the time okay. men, men don't men don't want to they they don't want women to really know what I'm about to mention to you. My daughters know it cuz I'm their dad. I tell them so they understand yeah. men better. Um mm-hmm. a woman if a woman's emotions are shown on the surface and she shows them right in front of you, men if it's true that women and men are the opposite but they go well together, then that means the man's emotions must be deep. Now I'm not yeah. saying that I'm not saying that like i'm guessing i'm a man i'm telling you they are they're very yes. deep like down to our toes deep our emotions run that deep so one yeah. thing doesn't sit at the top with us and we blow up when yeah. we blow up it's been festering and gone really deep and it mm-hmm. needs to be excavated mm-hmm. we we don't just blow it off at the top 
that means a woman, as often said, in, in uh, people can say it, um, it says it in the Bible, uh, a person has to, those, uh, those feelings need to, a person has to dig deep to get them up. Yes. So when a woman says something, no matter mm -hmm. how a man looks on the outside, he's mm -hmm. running on emotion. Yes. But he thinks to problem solve first. Yes. But he will open up the right side of his brain to the right woman that he feels it's safe or secure to be vulnerable with. Exactly. Once he does, once he does that, that means everything you say or do has a mm -hmm. huge profound effect exactly. on how a time release profound effect on how he will treat you the rest of your life. Yes. Because when he meets you and he wants you, because men yep. buy women shop, women go look yep. for different pairs of shoes and try them all on and can end up yep. doing the same with a guy, but a guy doesn't. Yep. He wants one. He sees the one he wants. He's done. I I'm done. And for him wow. to do anything different, that means, uh -huh. that means he is either immature or he's not mm -hmm. getting, he's not getting an opportunity to express those deep down to his toes, emotions and vulnerability yep. that he needs to get out. Now, yeah. a lot of guys will see this and hear this, and they will have two responses. Dude, don't tell women that stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the other, guys, the other guys will go like, tell them, man, tell them. You know, it's not what you think. No matter how stoic he looks on the outside and how eloquent and, and brainy he can sound, left brain he can sound, yeah. he is an emotional kid. Yes. And the woman is not supposed to be his babysitter. Now, don't no. get me wrong. There's some guys like that. Those are called little boys. Mm -hmm. You women, you women want that. Knock your, knock, yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, those yeah. are your associates. You, you don't want that in your inner circle. You want a mature man who will tell you, hey, look, you know what? That, that didn't make me, that didn't set right with me what you just said or what you did. Yeah. And so a woman who's mature is going to look at it and go like, well, you know what? I got a choice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to piggyback your video. I got a choice. I could tell you you're a big baby, or I could tell you, you know what? Uh, because she's got to be thinking, if he mm -hmm. said something bad to me, I want him to respond a certain way to me. So let me mm -hmm. respond the way, let me train him how mm -hmm. I want him to treat me by responding to him the way I want to be treated. So yes. I will tell him, you know what? I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you tell me, I want to learn. Help me to understand what you're talking about. Now, yes. when she has that moment, he's going to turn around and go like, wait a minute, because the guy's a guy's hey, guy's going to remember. Wait a minute. Yeah. A, good, a good guy. We're not talking flaky guys, ladies. We're not talking. <laughs> we're not talking about a guy who, who's, who is not stable. A guy's yeah. going to go. He's going to go. Wait a minute. I remember when when I felt scared or insecure. Or I didn't like something. How she talked to me. He's going to yes. always want to be one up. He's going to go like. No, let me get you something to drink. Do you want some tea? Do you want some, you know, yeah. you know I need to understand, honey, what I did because yes. I have no idea what I did. But if I have enough time and to think about it, I'm going to figure yeah. it out. But I'd rather you tell me and then you're going to have yep. to give me a, give me a little bit to think about it. And, yes. and, and he's going to do that. Trust me. He, if he doesn't want to lose you, He's going to do that. He's going to do that. And that's like, you've literally touched to some of the points that I teach to um, some of my clients. It's, it's, it's two things that you said that if a man wants to step up, he will step up. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, but he will step up where he feels inspired to step up. Yeah, that's it. That's, you, that's it. You can't, you can't no, just go to decide oh, with your no, man. No, you can't. You, so can't. you don't do this and you don't no, do this. No, all no. this. And all there is is so much negativity then he's gonna be like what's the point why yeah, should i even try he, if he had a boss like that he's gonna want to he's gonna want to quit the job if he yeah. has somebody in his inner circle like that he's gonna say that guy's not my friend anymore yes. if he has somebody that he has to go and procreate and build together and make a family and he's trying to build you, know, you can't even build a house like that a contractor can't yeah. have somebody on the crew or a co-builder, and the co-builder is kind of going, man, that's an ugly measuring tape. Why don't you get a yeah. measuring tape like so and so? And and at the same time, guys, I mean, guys, know you can't you can't be comparing the the, the woman 
of your life <laughs> to, to to the girls on the screen or or to the girl walk. That's, you know what? No. That just show that just shows no. their immaturity, and they should have never. They should leave that woman alone. Let her go find somebody better than you. Just let her yeah. just be just be honest and walk up to her and say, you know what? I'm not that good for you. You really should yeah, go. Yeah. You really you know, just be true. just be, come clean and go like you know what? Let me just step aside because obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give I'm you good. space. So you, oh, yeah. you, hey, baby, run with it because you can do way yeah. better than me. And just be honest. And just yeah. instead of playing around and make her feel like she's crazy, just tell her, hey, you know what? I'm not good enough for you. Let me step yeah. aside and get out of your way, and you run with it. Go ahead and knock yourself out. But but if there you're in a, a balance, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Please. There? There's a balance between um, the, here we're talking about a healthy relationship. Yes. We're not Thank talking you. about when a man, for example, is abusing you or saying cuss words to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Then you just stand by and you say, Ashley, I'm going to love you more. Because <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me. Oh, yeah. Not, be bullied yeah. Seeds. Don't say those words to me. No, go or, run. Or, or if he has an adulterous heart. If he has an adulterous heart and he doesn't, <laughs> in, 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 you're, in a, you're in a relationship and he doesn't want to be with you. Then yeah. you know that's you gotta you, you gotta do what you need to do whatever a person exactly. personally decides to do. But that's not what we're talking about. Like you said, we're talking yeah. about a he yeah. healthy, healthy relationship, and that's the sort of self mastery I teach to women because sometimes we don't recognize that. But if you can master your own emotion and become so aware of where you need healing and where you need your uh, tweaking with your emotions. That's where self mastery comes. You learn whether to walk away or stay, but and you make that decision from a feminine standpoint. And for the longest time, I wasn't able to do that. I was in uh, since the mm. age of nineteen. I was the girl in horrible, terrible, terrible relationships, um, and I I completely used to just go around. Um, disrespecting myself i didn't know i was worthy of love yeah. right. I, I didn't i didn't have a belief cycle about how much a person should love me mm -hmm. and i remember going from one relationship which was terrible it made me feel tiny wow. coming out of the relationship my self-esteem had just dwindled because i had poured so much of myself to this person and uh, and I kept going back for more, even with infidelity. I still went back, mm -hmm. even when say the meanest things to me. I still went back because I got my validation from him. And then going back again, I found myself right. Okay, so that relationship is gone. I'm a survivor. Yay, singing all the breakup songs. You freshen up Kumba, you kumbaya is, i'm a survivor you're playing it you're playing yeah. the you're playing the extended yeah. mix of i'm a survivor and and, and right yeah. you're, you're dancing with all the ladies and we're free and you we know, don't need exactly. a man right Freedom or whatever. right and then went on a date got stood up on that date you know okay. for a man to actually arrange something with you and then get to the date and then not show up at all i've also been ghosted by a guy by a guy and i've also you know you're, went not, on with you're not talking about the first time we tried to do a show are you you're not you're not throwing it no, you're not throwing that in I my face i was i was I feeling so said. bad for okay i'll just mess with <laughs> okay go, <laughs> no. go ahead, go ahead. Um, this and and at some point again i went up with a man who admitted to me that he was a side i was his side chick you know but it wasn't just it wasn't just like, you know, it was, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. It was from the U.S., by the way. I'm in the U.K., so when I come <laughs> to the sorry. U.S. Wait, I'm here. sorry. I don't, I'm not laughing. At, I'm thinking to myself, I'm talking to an extremely intelligent woman right now. Are you telling yes. me that somebody, <laughs> and he told you, how does that happen to you, my friend? <laughs> Kathy, how do you meet Let people? Me, how do you meet so you meet somebody, right? Okay, I'm you sorry. meet you meet somebody, and then six months in, you're like, hold up, there's so many red flags here, okay. and then little FBI, CIA, <laughs> you know, party investigation, and you realize, okay, I think there's more than two of us in this relationship. Kathy think, CIA, Kathy CIA went to work. Yeah, you, Kathy, Kathy I, Secret Service went to work. Go like, wait a minute, there's yeah, more than two people yeah. in this relationship.
Okay. Yeah, there was Good. more than two people in this relationship. <laughs> so I'm like, hold up. And and at this point, he's just about to leave to come back to the US. And I'm I am head over heels in love with this guy. And I finally find out that he tells me and admits finally because the evidence is there. The CIA report is there going at this the three of us man. And we you got the, the, you got the, you, know, you got the pri- you got the prime minister report right in front of me, right? Okay, you get the exactly, president exactly, report. Right? Non redacted. <laughs> non redacted. Non redacted. I like that. Non redacted. <laughs> That's good. Me, he goes to me, Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. Yes, you are a side chick. I have a long time girlfriend. Um had the sweetest American accent like you have. Oh, Oh my god. Hey, don't try to throw me in the same boat with him. Don't you <laughs> don't even be trying to go there. No, don't, don't you. Don't you dare. Yeah. So, okay, so he ahead. said, you know, I have I have I'm so sorry. Um I really really I love you. I I want to break up with this girl. I'm sorry, see? Mila. Okay. But um but I I just need you to do me one favor. Don't <laughs> tell him. Don't no, don't tell her that uh you know cuz at the moment you're in your feelings and i was saying things like i i'm going i'm texting her right now to tell her girl did you know there's three of us in the relationship yeah, right 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 and she ended up met, well i and he was saying oh don't no don't tell her don't tell her but i do love you i do love you again another red flag but at that point that was like the for me a low point in my life especially cuz i was in a new town but even with that even with him admitting and know that admitting to me that I was a side chick I still booked a ticket to come to the US to see him okay yes. all right we're going to have to stop we're going to have to stop the show now i'm going to have to go back put my coaching <laughs> my coaching hat and my dad hat on at the same time i'm going to be your i'm going to be your internet daddy and i'm going to be your coach cuz we need to no. talk no i'm just kidding all right, um, no, I'm just but kidding. the thing is there's so many women who are putting up with such yeah, stuff yeah. it's right? it's abuse I, it, it's, it's abuse it's abuse uh, of it's that abuse. person's emotion yeah. of, of that person's emotions it's an abuse of that exactly. person of actually both of you women and technically he's exactly. he's abusing him he's abusing his own self worth exactly so i ended <laughs> up people are, i like everybody see everybody's talking about your accent while we're talking about one thing they're talking about <laughs> now we're, yes, I'm, we're getting I'm to Kenya clarify and I'm up in the yeah. UK. yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> um, Go ahead. So, so this relationship so I'm I'm there, right? I've been cheated on when back. Like and I'm telling let me tell you it wasn't even Oh, are you cheating on me? No, I'm not. Are you cheating? No, I'm not. It was I literally walked in and I saw the woman coming out of the house. So it wasn't it was that dramatic moment you see in the TV, but I still went back, been stood up, been um uh what is it called the where they basically disappear after oh, the texting ghosting, you ghosting ghosting you ghosting, ghosting you. yeah and then i then meet this guy the american guy i'm going to keep saying that because I, you obviously know. you yeah you keep looking like you keep looking at me like hey, wait guys it was, i'm going to tell you right now it wasn't me and i am not not <laughs> sing i'm not singing a no. song saying it i'm literally <laughs> telling you it wasn't me let's go go no. ahead So but then he admits to me that I'm his side chick and I still book a ticket right I still book a ticket to go and see him even after he told me don't tell my girlfriend that you're the side chick but I really really love you Did so you get the point, refund Did you get the refund I did some of it yes but flights don't really refund everything do they no. Less than lemon I know Oh yeah and I, also, and I don't know whether to say this or not no, but I No it's too late it's too late you got to say it <laughs> <laughs> This is This is me proper being vulnerable but I also I might have paid some of his debts I saw this coming I saw it I knew when you were going to say it I knew it I knew it I knew you were going to say it and I definitely I definitely know for a fact we're stopping the show cuz I you needed intervention for something that has already wait and it's already passed we're going to go back we're going this is this is back pay intervention this is, this is okay so So you see this yeah. is why this is why people are scared to come on Narc Abuse TV network. They just start saying stuff and, and I've had I people know. come on. I know. I'm like, oh my god, this don't want to plan to when do. When the show's over with, they go like, "Oh, my mom just got through sending me a message because I said stuff yeah. she didn't know. She didn't know." And I was like, "Hey, sorry." <laughs> okay. 
Now, you got at least a partial refund. You, you've, you've learned from paying someone's debt in which they literally didn't deserve it. But one thing is no. for sure. Wait, one thing is for sure. Mm -hmm. Go I just want to say this. Because if you guys want to know more, please contact her privately because I can't take any more. So, so <laughs> my heart is going to explode. <laughs> but, but I do want to say this. You've learned enough in life's experience to be able to help women navigate what they're going through or what they step into. But that's, more importantly, yes. you can help them master. I, I, I like the way you put it. You help them master what again? Tell them, what is it that you help women master again? The way you say it it's is better. Self-mastery. Self-mastery. So let me tell you now. Now Go we ahead. know all the dirty laundry, right? right? We know everything. <laughs> oh, no. dirty, right? Uh, no, I'm That's quite sure. I'm quite sure this stuff you left out. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I I literally gave you the highlight. Okay, okay, the that's good. Is, right, when you're going through something like that, I got to a point before I got on that plane to come to the U.S. and I thought to myself, surely if if I've been going through this pattern, mm -hmm. I don't think it's something <laughs> is wrong with them. Okay, something <laughs> is wrong with them, but there is yeah. something that I need to work on myself, right? Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. I went on, I remember I had a book. It wasn't even the most sort of wow book, enlightening book. It was called The Slight Edge. You can go yeah. check it out. But I read it and all it I'm had sorry. was... I'm sorry, different... what's, the, what's the name of the title of the book again? What is it again? The, the Slight Edge. Okay, got it, okay. Yeah. So I read it and it just had like a few pieces of this is how you form your routine. So you get up in the morning at a certain time and do 15 minutes of exercise a day. Remember, at this time, I'm really sad and I'm really lonely because I've just lost my boyfriend who I thought was my boyfriend. Right. So I'm reading this book and it was literally like my, my lifeline. That's the book I really started to follow. Mm -hmm. And that was about six, seven years ago. But what happened is that I became obsessed, obsessed yeah. with it. I became obsessed with growing myself, with self-mastery. That's the mm -hmm. thing. And I learned that you can wear all the makeup that you need to wear. Yeah. Yeah. You can dress up or whatever. Because I yeah. was still rocking the heels and the cute tops and the outfits. But I was still attracting men that were not healthy for me. Yeah. So... The best way to work is from the inside out. And that's what I started doing. And that's what I teach women. I teach women mm. to work from the inside out because makeup comes off at the end of the day. The hair come, extensions <laughs> come off at the end of the yeah. day. What sticks and what a man will end up loving yeah. for the rest of his life and what a man will, what will bring a man close after you've removed the makeup and everything is what's inside of you. And yeah, it's cliche, but beauty is from no. the inside. So no, I teach women not only just growing from the inside, but I also mm -hmm. teach them how to, um, if they're in, they're in that situation where they have low self-esteem, low confidence, and they don't know how to handle situation with men. Sometimes you can be in an abusive relationship and not know. I don't even tell the women that, no, you're in an abusive relationship. Go, yeah. I teach them how to value themselves from the inside out and they get to the point and they're like, Oh, I think my situation is not that good. And that's yeah. when they go. Right. But if, if, if no one brings it to their attention, uh, they may never know, or they may know when it's too late. Uh, yeah. when someone has seriously gotten hurt or, or it becomes fatal. Um, exactly. so there are a number of, of young people, young women, mm -hmm. Yeah. Who end up in these situations similar to what you were talking about before that you've personally mm -hmm. experienced and multiple times over. And it's almost like an, an unending road. And they think that, well, this is just as, as good as it gets. And they could be yeah. even be in an abusive relationship and not know it's that and think, well, this mm -hmm. is love. This is just the way love works that I, mm -hmm. that, that I, that I talk to him this way and he talks to me this way. Yep. And then the next thing you know, and I'm going to piggyback again from your, your comment, your video that you had there about the words being like seeds. Then the next thing you know, children come along or children are in the relationship 
and they're watching all of this. They're being abused by it, and they're also learning to become abusers. Exactly. What are your thoughts on how that can be worked or a woman can self-mastery to the point that she stops all of that and cuts the cord and starts new and teaching even her children how to plant proper seeds when it comes to communication? Right. Oh, that's a really good question. I, for me, the first step is to learn how to, um, the self-worth. Because if you don't, and I know we are in the self-love sort of, everybody's all about hashtag self-love. Um, but true self-love is about actually healing some of that stuff that's going on within us, that's calling or attracting such situation so if a person was in a situation like that at the moment in mm -hmm. their relationship if if it's if it's um if it's dangerous for example if there's you know he's hitting yeah. you or stuff like that then go to a safe place because children don't need to be seeing that and somebody could get hurt you or the ch or the kids could get hurt and i think all most of the problems that i've seen with such situations is that we're so afraid of the unknown, right? We mm -hmm. are so afraid of what's going to happen tomorrow if mm -hmm. I leave this relationship, even though I know that it is not good for me. And that's what keeps us staying there because it's comfortable. And mm -hmm. people have statements like, better the devil you know. But then for me, it's actually telling or encouraging that person and saying, there's a better tomorrow. There always is. Mm -hmm if you master who you are inside mm -hmm. life is meant to work for you life is yeah. meant to go yeah. and work for you not against you mm -hmm. and life does not happen to you yeah. you can create your life which means you can gain the courage to say i don't know what is going to happen in the next five years ten years i know what's going to start tomorrow that's what i did i when I read The Slight Edge, I literally looked at, okay, I, I think I can do 15 minutes of workout a day. And I was sweating. <laughs> what a lie. I was sweating. Uh, 15 minutes felt like an hour. Yeah. I was sweating. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to wake up in the morning and do it. Wake up early in the morning and do it. I didn't want to write affirmations. I didn't want to do all those steps that need to be done in order to master myself. But then if I just targeted going through a week of doing it. Okay. Now, here's the secret. Here's what experts know and here's what's not known. Because something I don't, again, something that I can be controversial about the personal development world is that people think that change happens like that. Yes. Right? Correct. So you, people think, okay, I'm going to, do personal development. I'm going to heal this part of me and I'm going to be happy forever and ever and ever and ever. <laughs> and nothing will ever uh, bad happen. Uh, Everything will be amazing. Yay. I'm going to start tomorrow and that. No. What happens is that especially when stuff like that, especially if your parents were in an abusive relationship themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Or you didn't witness a healthy relationship with your parents, right? And you come into your grown-up self and you're still attracting this kind of unhealthy relationship. What happens is that you're forming neurons in your brain. You're forming connections. And those connections are thick and they are hard. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to change, change means literally changing your mind. It means building new connections. And new connections don't come overnight. They come from a commitment, yes from the first day, but they don't come overnight. Change does not happen in one day. Change happens, and I'll give you a time frame if you, if you like time frames, within 60 I days. Love, I love time frames. 60 days. We're talking 60 days, 60 days that a person needs to make sure that they're going to definitely be committed to, to look for change. Yeah. Yes. So if you're going to say, I'm going to step out of this relationship, you can't step out and a week later come back because those neural connections are fighting hard. <laughs> we love, we love they're, wait, they're fighting. They're fighting hard to stay intact with what they're accustomed to and fighting yes. against the new uh, direction yes. you want to take them in. 
So yes, no one likes change. They need 60 days in order to understand, oh, you want me to go that way now. And they'll go yeah. that way, but we can't expect them to go that way overnight or within no. 20, 20 some odd days. We need no. to go beyond the 21, 23 days and start pushing yeah. towards 60 and then yeah. be able. So essentially, if we go 90 days, we've done the same thing uh, people do when they hire somebody. They check you yeah. out for 90 days to see if you can fit into the yeah. family, into the program. And yeah. then and then they'll be able to go from there. Exactly. So we got to do the same with our neurons, right? Our neurons got to get some time to go with the program. And yes. we, we just need to stay busy and occupied and then do a, a, a check on everything, you know, every 30 days, maybe looking to see if we're moving yeah. toward our goal. OK, but then it's not that simple, because let me tell you what happens. Yeah, you are guaranteed to fail within the first 10 days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because those first 10 days, especially your brain is like, nah, -uh, we're not doing this. <laughs> You're like, do you, you, you want me to do what? <laughs> like, yeah, what uh, you want me to eat healthy? What you want me to start dressing up? You want me to start loving myself? I never put anyone, I've never put myself forward. I've always put other people other first. Other people first. What yeah. you mean? You mean I can't go through this cycle where the person is saying mean words to me and then buying me presents and then mean words to me and then buying me presents? <laughs> giving giving me a hug, giving me a hug, uh, throwing, yeah. throwing sex at me, throw, throw, exactly. you know, tell, telling people that I'm great sometimes and most of the time they tell them yeah. I'm awful. So, yeah. so the brain so gets your accustomed. Brain will fight, will fight and, will, and, and the way it fights, your, the, listen, I, I did um, neuroscience at university and I was fascinated by how much, intel, how, how much we are so intelligent. Everyone is so intelligent because your brain is not going to be like, no, so uh, Kathy, you need to stop doing this. It will start bringing situations to you that yeah. will make you turn back because it's trying to readjust the focus back to what it knows as normal, right? right? right. So your yeah. brain is going to go, do you know, actually, I forgot something at the house. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I really, really, really love that top and I'm going somewhere. Yeah. And if I want to look good, I really want that top. I so need I'm gonna to get go that top. To that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And what will happen? You go back to the house and then you will be like, oh, but it feels cozy. And your brain will now be working overtime to yeah. tell you, hey, it feels nice here. Let's, let's just, let's just <laughs> stay here. You know, <laughs> things change. And then probably the guy then will come to you and say, and I'm telling you a cycle I went through. And the guy will tell you, I'm so sorry. Now I know you've been gone for five days. Now I know <laughs> yeah, yeah, how right. much I need you, right? And then what you end up doing is you, you end up staying because your brain literally tricks you to go back. So that's why I'm saying the first 10 days you've got to watch out because it's going to definitely trick you. But then when you cross that threshold and you go more and more and you go towards the 60 days. So the, 30, the first 30 days are to erase the old neural connections and the next 30 days are to build new ones. Once you get over that, you are gone. <laughs> You, you're you are, so you're, you're like this is like like in the cartoons with the little smoke under your feet the little little yeah. dust you're kicking up and you're like Vroom. 